Warner Brothers just so happened to drop a teaser trailer for next year's Justice League movie during the Comic-Con 2016, and as it turns out, it was absolutely stuffed with Easter eggs, plot teases, and other assorted geeky awesomeness. Can I keep this? It's time for us to take a look at the 10 biggest Easter eggs hiding in the new Justice League trailer. Number 10, Aquaman heads home for the holidays. Talk. Or at least, it sure seems that the small town that Aquaman apparently visits on the King Tide, an unusually high tide that only occurs a couple of times a year, is his comic book hometown of Amnesty Bay. In the comic books, that's where young Arthur Aquaman Curry was raised by his father Tom, and the hero's protection of that town seems to suggest that might just have happened in the DCEU too. Number 9 the mother of all boxes. That, after all, is one of those strange alien mother boxes from that weird deleted scene from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. And that looks to have played a major role in creating Cyborg in the DCEU. Now, exactly who that is we see burying it is still unconfirmed, but word from the Justice League set and their old-timey costumes, the movie's main MacGuffins, it seems, are going to have been a long time coming. Great. Next up, number eight. Aquaman drinks like a guy who spends most of his life underwater and a long way away from liquor, and who is really happy to be back on the surface as a result. Looking for confirmation that Aquaman has spent some time living on dry land? His obvious fondness for what looks an awful lot like whiskey might just be it. Number 7. Cyborg is, or was, a letterman. See that fancy jacket Victor Cyborg Stone is wearing in this shot? Well, it seems to confirm that Stone, like his comic book counterpart, was once a star quarterback. It also seems that he's been aged up a little for the movies, with the comic book Cyborg having been in high school when he got his powers rather than being at Gotham City University. But with this shot seeming likely to be a flashback, who knows how old he'll be when Justice League gets started. Next up, number 6. The Flash is a total nerd. He's definitely been doing a lot more nerdtastic reading than the average superhero, with books on Democratic Congressman Tip O'Neill, JFK, and Windows 98 all lying around Barry Allen's hideout. Someone's a fast learner, it seems. Number 5. The Flash knows he's standing on the shoulders of giants. Or rather, one giant in particular. Nikola Tesla, who Barry Allen apparently has a picture of sitting on his desk. Number 4. The Flash totally has winged feet in the DCEU, which is a neat nod to the original J. Garrick era Flash costume, and B. Downright awesome all by itself. Number 3. The Flash is apparently a fan of Rick and Morty. You can totally see a clip from the Adult Swim show Rick and Morty in the background as Bruce Wayne interrogates Barry. Number 2. The Flash might well be hiding in Suicide Squad. Could we be set to see Barry Allen, or at least the blue streak of lightning that indicates his presence, in Suicide Squad? It sure seems like it. Look at the pretty lights! And finally, number one. Aquaman can definitely talk to fish. After all, why else would Bruce drop the sure to be a classic I hear you can talk to fish line? Could we be set to see a reprise of the fan favorite comic book moment where Aquaman reveals that fish are too stupid to actually talk to while chowing down on a plate of them? Here's hoping. While we still need to wait a year and a half until Justice League hits theaters next November, in the meantime, you can let us know what we missed in the comments below.